a turtle club good morning guys i know it's just a little well it's more than a little bit it is about five minutes past 8 a.m eastern standard time uh, no excuses though no excuses uh we are playing arc survival of today on mag's monday morning mayhem basically because well sometimes i can't leave well enough alone and other times well uh, <laughs> Why can't I say I'm a glutton for punishment? And these particular dinos, they uh, they were punishing yesterday. And, you know, sometimes we, we double up on a game, uh, usually Friday and Saturdays when that happens. And this particular day, it's actually, uh, well, it's going to be Monday and Sunday kind of doubling up. Hopefully this is streaming right because we kind of got it all kind of twisted in knots. Yeah, it looks like we do have everything going up on the YouTubes just the way they should be. Uh, Monday morning is usually not the most popular uh, stream, especially when all you're doing is looking at a loading screen. Um, but it is what it is, Turtle Club, and we're hopefully, hopefully going to get this going in just a few moments here. And it looks like we got everything loaded in. All right. And as we last left our wonderful self here, we were uh, pretty much fighting for our life, getting us some food. Um, it was all about establishing survivability from the meat that we were able to grab here. And we are also going back and forth to getting some, some much, much needed, much, much needed fibers. And these fibers here, for the most part, Turtle Club, are used in the construction of the arrows we need. So we can start killing some of the things that are over here on this island. So eventually, the goal is eventually so we can wind up actually feeding and eating some of the other dinosaurs in this island. And Mag's Monday Morning Mayhem, you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, that's because my name is Mag Synchro. Good morning, Michael and Pizza Ball. How are you guys doing today? Glad to see both of you in the chat today. We are back at the Dino World. Back at the Dino World. And... Just a shout out to Cool Rock Leaf, also known as Artificial Straws. He got another one of the scavenger hunt questions. Uh, one of the questions was, what critically acclaimed anime have I not been able to watch? And he was absolutely correct, guys. Attack on Titan. Uh, your cousin PJ says hi. Well, Michael, uh, hi to your cousin PJ. I have tried many times, many times. And, and by many times, I mean more than I can think, to watch Attack on Titan. It is one of those things that I really, really have been told is good. I personally love kaiju games. Um, kaiju, uh, you know, giant, huge monsters. Hey, Dylan Blackburn, how's it going? A.K.A. La Chocla. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Let's see... I don't know if I can... Oh, yep, there's definitely... We got Noposaurus Rex and Eda's Magasaurus. Those things can stay right over there. Um, oh. How wonderful is that? How wonderful is that? Let's see here. And me without my bolas. Oh, can we make a bola? Oh, we... Need some fiber for a bola. Okay, okay. Speaking of scavenger questions, I knew Marwin was Dear favorite Elder Scrolls, but didn't know it was her all-time favorite game. Yes, it is her all-time favorite game. Um, she has mentioned that a couple of times. Her favorite game is Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Um, her second favorite game of all time. I'm uh, not saying this because it would be a scavenger hunt question, because we're kind of nearing the end of those. Playing hockey today kind of sick so oh hooky oh, okay not hockey i misread that but her second all-time favorite game uh, would be animal crossing there's something about that particular game that she just gets right in the zone and as she gets in the zone it just does what it does all right bola uh craft one of those inventory and while we're crafting bolas let's see here club why do we need to be able to go wow okay we need some wood to go wham all right so let's 
go for some wood. That's thatch. That's more thatch. That's one piece of wood. Not exactly what we're hoping for. They were getting there. Does Dig Digrat play New Leaf? No, she didn't uh, play New Leaf. Uh, we played the original Animal Crossing. Then we played the one that was the first one on DS, which was um, Wide World, I think is what it was called. I, I can't remember. I mean, it was like when we first got our DSs. This stream is great. Cousin loves dinosaurs. That's awesome, Michael. I love, I love dinosaurs, too. One of the running jokes when I play this game, though, is that... Unfortunately, as, as cool as it is, um, five-year-old me is very disappointed. Well, that's actually now five-year-old me being disappointed in 36-year-old me. But it used to be five-year-old me is disappointed in 35-year-old me because most of the dinosaurs that I knew and loved growing up, I could name many, many times. And now I simply couldn't tell you what they are for the life of me. All right, you are level four, and we are going to hopefully do this right. I feel sorry about this. All right, here he is. He's unconscious. And let's get him some meat to eat. Put some narco berries in his inventory. And speaking of things like that, we have some around here. We built us a campfire. We eventually will find out where it is because it burned out. Uh, do you know about my Hero Academia? Yeah, actually, I just finished watching it today. As a kid, Land Before Time was one of your favorites. That is way cool, man. Uh, Pizza Ball, that was, you know, the, the original Land Before Time was one of my favorite games or favorite movies. I, uh, But once they kind of got past, you know, all of the Land Before Times, I kind of like got over it. Hey, Hobbs, good morning, buddy. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. You're unconscious, and you're not eating fast enough. Cooked food is not your favorite. I know this. But we have to find, somewhere around here, we got to find where our campfire was. And I don't remember where the campfire was. Matter of fact, at this point, I don't remember where the pterodon was. Ugh, here he is. All right, he is, he's, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, only the first one. Yeah, the, the, the other ones after that kind of... They, they kind of really didn't do what I was hoping, you know? Uh, they just... They basically decided The Land Before Time was one of those games. Or one of those movies. One of those TV series. One of those things that... Uh, they really needed to make as much money as they could from it. Hmm. I remember somewhere around here being where I had my fire built. Looking for a campfire. Because this guy is going to have to eat some meat. Before he wakes up and gets really, really mad at me. So guys, Turtle Club, right now, it is absolutely a race between my memory, how fast he can eat. Actually. I'm sorry, buddy, but I wanted to tame you, but you have a much, much higher calling right now. I remember laughing so much when Ducky would say, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yep, 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 yep. 
Oh yeah, Ducky is awesome. Ducky is definitely awesome. Um, speaking of Ducky, though, there I forget who it was, but one of our Turtle Club members actually um, had one of their kids try to watch Land Before Time, and Ducky apparently annoyed the kid <laughs> of all things. It was like, well, the kid's kid's annoyed by it and doesn't want to watch it. So I had to turn it off. And I was like, what is wrong with you, kid? Ducky is awesome. And, you know, I can see that. You know, we are... Oh, guys, look how close that is. Look how close that is. And I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. With a flashlight and a homing beacon, it was just... Hmm. Hey, Naps to Bluke. How's it going? All right, let's let's see you tame a little faster. Tame a little faster. Come on, Pterodon. How about I get off the Pterodon? This is not good. I'm stuck on the Pterodon. So... When it wakes up, I'll be trapped inside of it, maybe? Let's feed you a few more... Narco berries. I know you don't like eating the berries. Can I crouch out of this? I need to get closer to that thing too. Hmm. Oh, it's taming a little bit faster than its unconsciousness now. Which is good. This is good. Meanwhile, the leather we really, really could use is right there on that guy. And what's going on, in case you guys are curious, we are standing on his wing. And so the game is trying to slide us off his wing over and over again. And again, this is, uh, according to the developers, this is a finished game. It is done. There is no bugs. It is supposed to be 100% complete. This is one of the oldest maps on the whole entire game. These kind of weird bugs and glitches... It's one of the reasons why people go, You love Ark? And I'm like, Yes, Ark's great. Mostly. And they go, Do you recommend Ark? And I'm like, Yeah, I absolutely recommend Ark. It's completely, completely bug riddled. But I love it. I love it. It's a fun game. It has a really cool concept. The gameplay is almost there. Um, you know, taming dinosaurs, flying on them, uh, doing all sorts of really cool stuff around those lines. You know, but then you run into stuff like this, to where you basically play skate on the dino wing and hope he doesn't kill you while you're, you know, in a loincloth. Not the not the most glowy recommendation that I can give to a game. Um, it's it's like some of the games that I played today on, on earlier streams. We actually, you know, Saturday night, Sunday morning, um, however you want to call that particular stream. We were Sunday in the day. I mean, time is so weird for everybody here, right? Because you know we have Australian viewers, we have Indian viewers, we have European viewers. Uh, we have Asian viewers, we have uh, viewers from Africa, um, we have you know South American viewers, we have viewers all over the world. So when I'm streaming at 3 a.m. my time, it's like 1,900 hours in Australia. So it's you know it's it's not exactly what you think is. Oh, there it goes. I finally finally flew back. I don't know how I did it. I'm just okay that I. Oh, name him, name him. All right, we we'll, we will name you not bait. Because that's what we're hoping will happen. Yeah. Bit like Bethesda gaming is expensive and a must play but full of bugs and glitches. Yes, you are absolutely correct on there. Um, all right. Behavior. You, sir, are... Options? No. No, 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 no. Okay. We don't want to... Ever... All right. Behavior. Change targeting range from medium. Change follow distance. Change stance. Uh, okay. Neutral. All 
Okay, now I have to remember what the stay button is, and I want to say it's it's uh, Y, isn't it? There, okay, he will stay. Good. And he's going to stay on neutral, which is even better. And now we got food, we got water, we got this dude who's going to donate leather to the cause. And in the water, oh, turtle club. That's an Edomagosaurus, and that's an Oposaurus Rex, but neither of them look to be near my my stuff. So we're we're going to potentially die here. Is what's going to happen. All right, go down, grab our inventory, trade all of our stuff, go up. <laughs> we're a sea turtle. Oh, we're we are hot footing is what we are, Blackburn. Oh guys, oh guys, fingers all the crossed, all the cross fingers. If I had, if I if I weren't wearing Crocs right now, guys, I would cross my toes because there is a strong chance. And we are just a few feet away from an Oposaurus Rex, still. Still. And that's the worst part of it. Oh, okay. So, we did tame a Pterodon while he was over here, though. And that's that was mainly so we could, you know, have it more than anything else. Alright, so... Here's our campfire. Oh, yeah. We, we, uh, we did pretty good there. We did pretty good. All right, so here's some raw meat. We actually want that for our buddy. Uh, we don't need the blackjack anymore. We had two of them. All right, we're up to 85 arrows, guys, and two bows. I mean, we, we are doing really good at this point. Um, we went from being just totally, totally out of our depth to being kind of where we wanted to be anyways. All right, you, sir, not bait, shall get some more food to eat. I'll take the berries back. Um, you have quite some weight left, so we'll, we'll let you carry a blackjack or two, and yeah, that's good. Hey, Chadley, good morning, man. Glad to see you. We, we, uh, we managed to get out of that really, 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 really bad predicament we were in yesterday. Um, somehow, some way, we managed to get our materials back, so we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, I guess we could put some wood there. Right, and if you guys don't know who Chadley is, uh, Chadley is actually one of our family-friendly streamers for you guys that are currently watching at home, work, or where have you. And he streams uh, some pretty cool content. I, I recommend checking him out. He's been doing some Breath of the Wild. He's he's done some Fortnite. You know, he's kind of like me. He does a little bit of some stuff, but he does keep with some some actual series. All right. Um. We know we don't want to venture too far into all this because eventually we're going to come across soy bacon and we're going to be dead. And soy bacon is is just a joke. A uh, long time ago, it, it's actually not that bad. I've had it a couple times. But if I had a choice between soy bacon and real bacon, I usually am going to go for the real bacon. It's just the way I am, guys. There's something about a chewy, crispy, crunchy, um, nice piece of bacon that just hasn't been able to be duplicated, in my opinion. Alright, not bait. How are you doing, buddy? You got eight pieces of food on you. You are doing fantastic. Fantastic. Faking. Ugh. You know, I... People call it faking, but you know, it, it's not, again, it, it's not horrible. I mean, if I had a choice between eating soy bacon or not eating, um, I eat soy bacon. Uh, there, there's some other food that I definitely can't say that about. If, like, uh, for instance, if I had a choice between eating, hey, drop a bite, say hello, left a like, see you, Haku, thanks for coming in, man. If I had a choice between, say, that and, uh, what was I about to find? 
I was about to craft something that was going to make my life better, possibly. Oh. Uh, huh. Well, I, I guess that's that. Um, wow. Okay. Hey, Sally, good morning to you. Glad to see you this morning. Hope everything's going for you out there in Canada today. If I recall correctly, we were over here and we found a couple of dilos. Oh, that's all right, Sally. We, we totally understand. We totally understand. I uh I would have slept in except for well actually I did sleep in. I slept till seven PM last night. Alright, so here is a parasaur. Um interesting. Hey giggity bite! How goes it, buddy? Let's see, can I make another bola? I can. Oh, wait a second. Wait one dastardly second. There's a carby. I, I really would like to get a carby. There's a dodo. But that right there... That thing right there needs to die. I want to say the hatchet gets me more hide. Yep. What level are you, Carby? Level 5. Doing good. I was able to sleep a bit last night. Well, that's always awesome. That's always awesome. All right, so our house is right on that little island right there. You wouldn't know it, but we're deathly terrified of going to this island because, well, this island has terror birds on it, and that island has, well, sharks between here and there, megalodons as they're called in the "You're going to die" mag synchro tongue. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that thing heard about who we are, so it ran off. I want to say the Parasaur can get killed by us, but I'm not sure. I know this poor guy is pretty much a goner, even at level 15. Go away, copies. So we got to level up, and we actually managed to get some copies, so rip whatever type bird that is. <laughs> well, it's not exactly dead yet. But it, it uh, I'll be close. All right. That is a brontosaurus. They are great. They are super. They are awesome. And uh, what are those huge pillars on the island where your home is? Sorry. Oh, those are the arcs, Dylan. Uh, no need to be sorry, man. If you are, you know, it's always, always expected. It's always accepted. If you have no clue what you're looking at, ask. I mean, that's that's the one thing, guys, that uh, I have to say I still, to this day, it's one of those really awesome life lessons that I was given by one of my instructors. And that was my seventh grade, of all things, my seventh grade 
teacher uh, of, of all things um, geography. He came in and he said, you all are a bunch of ignorant seventh graders. And, you know, I'm an ignorant seventh grader at the time. Still, I'm an ignorant 36 year old. Um, and I looked at him, I said, man, that's, that's just, how can you say that? That's rude. That's mean. You can't do those kind of things. And he said, well, it's true. Uh, but th don't worry. Don't worry if you're an ignorant seventh grader, because that's fixable. Ignorance simply means that there's something that you don't know, but you want to learn it. And that's why you're in geography. And I thought, okay, well, other than the, the hamming up the geography part, right? That's actually quite something if you think about it. You, If you don't know something, you should ask. You should seek knowledge. You should try to figure out where your shortcomings are. And you should try to fix that. Because if not, you just remain ignorant. So the space thing here. So the way this game is, I watched Laura play this for a fair bit still don't know what the arcs are well basically um wi-fi towers that's just the best way i can explain them so you got when you pull up your inventory you can see it kind of here there's a little glowing piece of metal and it sticks out of your arm you can kind of see it here too on the character screen i don't know if i can see it when i zoom out as well yeah you can see it a little bit there um so basically you're on a hunting trip you get abducted by aliens and then you wind up getting put here to be observed. Think about uh, kind of like how anybody else goes about making a zoo, right? We, we got captured, we got darted, we got collected for intelligence reasons, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there were what I call the Erpies around here, but I don't see one anymore. Okay. You there, not bait. You shall remain, not bait. And we will put these four stakes there. So what those things are is the little bitty thing in your hand is kind of like a transponder, like a GPS unit that connects back to the computer system that the aliens have. And these are arcs are placed around the island so your system can communicate to those. Which is a pretty cool little gimmick if you think about it, right? I mean, here we go, taking something that you and I take for everyday common knowledge. All right, so we still can't take him down. So no one's correctly answered the question about the bot nicknames. Nope, aliens using humans as entertainment for sport. Uh, just for entertainment, I think. And for science. Oh, sorry, I didn't do that right. For science! And I'm dehydrated. I just drank water. How can I be dehydrated? Oh, because it's hot. All right. I don't believe there's any kind of clothing that I can simply learn that has any kind of weatherproofing on it. Uh, does the hat give me any kind of insulation? Some protection from heat and cold, but only minimal protection from injuries. Yeah, we'll, we'll finally learn the hat, and we'll go ahead and craft us a hat. Like Truman Show with dinosaurs. Yeah, that's a good way of going about it. You know, if Truman Show was able to be eaten by the dinosaurs. Um, so we'll craft one of these. Yeah, they kind of do, Giggity. Um, you know, there, there, are, there are definitely some semblance to some of the things that you have uh, done versus some of the things that are here. All right, now I got the hat on, and it's supposed to give me some heat protection, but they say that. They don't really mean that. All right, and let's go and see if we can craft us another bola. I don't remember if I can actually bola a carby or not. Is that why you can respawn also? Yep, that's why you can respawn also. It's all nicely wrapped up into a neat little package called Alien Super Technology. Um, and basically, you're being studied, again, kind of like monkeys, um, and eventually, on this island, you find secret tools made out of simple house supplies. Not true. I've, I've seen some of your tools made out of other things. Okay, this is a level 14. Ah. Okay. Let's get us some ammo.
And by ammo, I mean stone. Blunt instruments in this game is the name of the game when you're wanting to knock something unconscious. I'm pretty sure that's what here. Better for knocking out a target than killing it outright. Requires a stone to fire. So the goal of what we're planning to do... That knife, yeah, yeah, this is true. This is true. You did make a knife. Alright, so what we plan to do is we plan to knock out the turtle. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish it, though. Turtles are actually really good in this game as tanks. And by tanks, I mean like... Uh, D and D kind of tank. They take hits. They absorb shots. They they do a lot of things. Um, they also don't move on land very well. Now water, they're practically a speedboat. And if you can think about this, I would have the problem of wanting to tame everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, taming everything is you know kind of the end goal. It's actually one of the the more entertaining aspects of this game. It's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to it. I'm encumbered. I am tired. Okay, we don't want to pass out, so we're going to eat some food. Wait for our actual... The lightning bolts are energy bar. And when you're hot, it does take more energy and effort and everything to do everything. All right, so we have 22 shots with the slingshot. So this is going to go either incredibly good... Or incredibly horrible and I know what you guys are thinking uh, mag is there a difference and the answer to that is well of course not um, can we knock him out in 22 shots and is one bolo oh we have two bolos okay strange rock in the backyard okay huh well that's probably some really good stone then you may want to get some sort of geologist to take a look at it we're going to calmly and very rationally drink us some water. And while we're here, we really need to fill up these these bags. Because while it's hot, you definitely want to keep your your water supply going good. All right, and I don't really need to track those berries anymore, so I can just take those off the bar. All right, I think we need to go put our, well, let's craft some arrows first, because that's a good way to get rid of some of the fiber and some of the flint. What's neat is the way some of this actual crafting works. So you got a fiber piece, right? And it's 0.1. And you got flint, which is 0.1. And you craft both together, and it's an arrow, which is 0.1. Um, or 0.2, maybe. I said that. No, I'm pretty sure it's 0.1. Yeah, 7.8 for 39. All right, so we, we, we mitigated some of the weight we have. We still have quite a lot of arrowhead materials. Uh, stone is only the size of, say, Cat Dum Dum, okay. Well, it sounds like you might be dealing with Flint then, Giggity Bite. And Flint's actually pretty uh, pretty impressive. Or it could be Iron. I mean, uh, a, a chunk of Iron would be very difficult and Sparks would come out too. So, so we're going to get rid of... We can't get rid of the Stone because the Stone's the ammo we're going to be using. But the Flint we can get rid of. We can go up to Not Bait and put it on Not Bait. Hello, not bait. We have a job for you. Your job is to keep being not bait. Huh. Okay. Odd. Well, again, uh, Giggity, I really recommend possibly getting a geologist to take a look at it then and seeing what they think. Um, oh, we have an extra bow. I guess we don't need to be carting that around with us either. Extra pickaxe we can drop off. The extra torch we can drop off. Uh, oh, we can level him up. We can get his weight to go up. And that's the one thing you want to first level up with these flyers is their weight because that basically levels up how much can they carry. Oh, there's a chunk of metal. We can get rid of that too. That's a good solid pound. All right. So can we move? Now we can move fairly fast. All right. There we go. 
So we're going to about to find out exactly how big a boy this turtle is. And by that I mean we're going to see if we can actually bolo it. And then if we can, then we'll go away. Uh, stand by, Turtle Club. I got a phone call real quick coming in. All right, sorry about that, Turtle Club. Sometimes I get calls from just really weird numbers that are in my local area code. Uh, these stones would fall out of the top rope in real life. I don't know. Um, it's actually a triple knot with a double fulcrum. I, I think we should be okay because all of them look the same. Dropping a like a school. Okay, Cherry, no worries. I, I would like to think that um, I get a like because you like the content, but if it's because you're in school, that's cool. Uh, no, actually not a cold call. Uh, every month, as the Turtle Club may know, I actually have a, a standing appointment with my doctor due to a genetic condition I have. And they usually give me just an email to tell me what my test results are, but they have a new person in the office, and they wanted to... Oh, I'm way encumbered now. Uh, that's not good. Okay, let's see what really over-encumbered me. Before I get... Oh, sleeping bag. Three of them. Oh, dear goodness. Um, oh, I'm only... I'm only five stone over. Five pounds. I'm just going to... Drop some cherries. And then... Slowly walk all the way back to camp. Actually, that's going to take way too long. Oh. What else can I drop that has excessive weight going on? This other stack of berries we can drop. Okay. Just doing real quick number scans, guys. It's just a numbers game at this point. Did you guys always have a hat? No, Pizza Ball. I built the hat. It's supposed to help with the heat a little bit. Um, over here where I'm at now, there, there's some heat issues, so... Hmm. I guess we'll drop this, these berries also. And these berries, because they're not Mejo berries. They're not really important berries at the, at the moment. Here we go. We can, alright, we can run. We can dip, dive, dodge, and dodge again. That's kind of where we're at. I must have missed it. That's all right, Pizza Ball. That's all right, man. All right, level five. Hey, I like my odds of fighting this level five a lot better. Come on, level five turtle. You and me. So, to answer the question, uh, they are not followable. And since we can't see their torpor... Oh, oh wait, he's just, he's just, he's just round the corners all. Come on, right in the eyeball. That's what we're trying to do, is get you right in the eyeball. Oh, now you're running away. Now you're running away. Now you're trying to protect your mate. Oh, no. That's not good. We have no choice but to melee this guy. And hope it unconsciousness them before this guy kills us. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, we weren't thinking straight. 
fortunately we'll get a lot of chitin and some hide off this turtle these guys soak up the arrows like it was sun rays on a beach guys like it was sun rays on a beach and this thing is a level 20 something and now it's gonna run away We should be able to kill it before it gets away, though. Yeah. And, uh... Welcome to the channel. Um, you're entitled to your opinion. We do expect you to be polite on the channel, though. Just being insulting and being rude like that. Usually not accepted. Hello, I do not speak your language. I apologize. Boy. Let's see if we have enough materials to repair that. Nope. What do I need to repair that? What do I need to repair that? Why? I need fiber and wood. Okay, let's see here. Let's find us some, some wood and fiber real quick. Nope. Need eight pieces of wood. Keep running, keep running. Maybe we can kill him before it runs and Oh, we just barely got him, Turtle Club. Oh yeah. All right, all right. So good news, bad news time. Good news is we downed a turtle. Bad news is we didn't get the turtle we wanted. Um, we're gonna go back to our little small impromptu area. Let's see here. What about raft? Can we can we make a raft yet? Not rah rah raft. Um, where is it? I know it's giant and it always goes, whoa, okay, we are getting there. We are getting there. Tis just a flesh wound. Um, for me, yes, that turtle, not so much. That turtle, it's definitely seen better days. All right, not bait. How are you doing, buddy? We got some more raw meat for you. All right, some raw meat there, some raw meat there. Grab this new bow and replace the old bow. Um, okay, we need fiber and wood to repair that, but we'll think about that later. Uh, he can hold the keratin for us because it does have zero weight, so why are we going to give it to him? All right, so we got our arrows back. What do we need to repair this with? We need fiber. Oh, and he gets another level up. Not bait has leveled up. Okay, so we need, we definitely need some fiber. There's the tin fiber we need, so hit the four button. Korean, okay. Well, hello. I myself, unfortunately, do not speak Korean, but I do appreciate you stopping by my channel. My name is Mag Synchro. I'm one of the actual streamers of Convertible Turtle Gaming. I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as well as Mondays, Eastern Standard Time in the U.S., at 8 o'clock a.m. on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and at 9 o'clock a.m. on Fridays. It's due to work reasons that I have such an odd, unusual schedule where most streamers stream in the the night. I stream during the day because of that. Uh, okay, we know that 20-something rocks is not enough, so we need to get just a bit more than that. Been working on a remix of Terraria Tune. Okay, that's cool. 
You know, I tried playing Terraria, not really my game, but to each their own. Uh, we could put those sleeping bags on them, absolutely. Put them on there, put those hides on them. He's going to eat because he likes to eat. Um, primitive bow we can put on him. Um, we're halfway damaged on that one. What does it take to repair this thing? Quote, we can't repair that's of course right all right so we're gonna have to carry this other bow anyways not really your game as well but you do like it you know some people have a lot of fond fun time playing the game i tried it um it's actually free on my xbox game pass and you prefer starbound a lot of people i've, I've heard prefer starbound i haven't really been able to wrap my head around that one either just kind of all um oh we'll just drop that Okay, so we got a slingshot repaired. I think we need to craft another another slingshot as well. And for that, we need one piece of hide. And we need some fiber, and we need some wood. Because we really can't... We I don't think we can handle fighting one of those guys. Yeah, oh yeah, I know, man. Careful Space Program is your jam. Uh, that is your game in half. All right, so I need five pieces of wood. I got two pieces of wood, and I think I need like 20 fiber. Is that what it was? Yeah, 20 fiber. Okay. Fortunately, fiber is pretty easy to get a hold. Never played that. Looks very different. Uh, KSP definitely looks different. Um, Computer can barely run it. Yeah, 50 mods. <laughs> it's actually... Um, it's how I actually uh, met Giggity, uh, to be honest. He was talking about it in Epic Potato Chips Discord. And I had no clue what Kerbal Space Program was. And he was posting pics of it. And snapshots of it. And failed attempts. And non-failed attempts. Successful attempts. It, it's basically... Um, you build rockets and you get to fly to different locations and locales and destinations. It's actually pretty uh, pretty amazing for the game. For what it is especially. Alright, we got 16 stones. We need about 40 of those. But I think we can make... Alright, we need wood. And we really need to switch out our, our pick to our axe, which we had him hold. All right. Not bait, give us our axe. Um, it looks a blast. It really does. Stone wood and flint. Okay. Put these flints over here. Get this axe right there. We don't need an actual, we don't even need to carry the stem berries around either, to be honest. Playing the DQ Bear? Oh, cool. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No mods. Except for Edivy. We, we do have the um, Death Plus mod. Basically, I can make my own personal gravestone uh, once I get to a certain level. And can actually make um, cementing paste pretty regularly. And that way, if I die, I can get all my stuff back without having to go hunt it down. That's the only quality of life mod that I use. It gets updated very frequently, and if I should happen to uh, have the update happen to the game, and the actual mod developer has not made any updates to their mod, it doesn't ruin my play experience in a few moments. Um, and that's that's the only thing that I have against S+. S+, is a great mod. I've seen a lot of people do good things with it. Uh, build some really pretty structures with it. But at the same time, it's one of those things that I I know it's just one arc update away from just going and so yeah, it's fun. It doesn't feel worth the full purchase price. Yeah, for 50 bucks, Pizza Ball. I mean, it's it's really good. It's really really good. And the the next, I mean, I would love it to be like uh, the next Turtle Club uh, Friday Saturday stream. I think that'd be awesome. I wouldn't mind picking it up if they actually won the votes. Uh, but for just picking up the play by myself, 
um, in solitude and privacy and whatnot, I, it's just not worth 50 Especially when there are other alternatives, like Portal Knights, you know, Minecraft, um, that are equally entertaining. Maybe not as good, right? Portal Knights versus Dragon Quest Builders. Um, two different things, especially if you like the Dragon Quest world. If you love the Dragon Quest world, uh, Dragon Quest Builder, uh, possibly worth the 50 bucks. Um, but, you know, that that is... That is a... Mm, that's a subjective, you know, thing as far as basing things on it. Alright, so we got that. I don't know why I'm carrying around the circle. Oh, there have one that's supposed to be dealing with our server, only mod that had a ton of issues with Classic Flyers. Yeah, yeah, Classic Flyers does have some problems. I, uh, I actually was running a personal server that was played on during very different times, like odd hours of the day and what have you. And I wound up having so many mods break. So many mods break. So, uh, personal opinion, I, I just don't even bother with them. But it's also because I was playing on Linux, uh, as far as my server goes. And I was doing... Uh, the, the front end I had was pretty horrible. So, to update mods on Linux, you have to actually download them, put them on a PC, load the game, which actually unpacks the mods take the unpacked mod files, and then move them over to the Linux server. Unless you have some kind of actual management company that's doing it for you. Um, so, and again, that's because this it's just a less expense for the way we were doing it. Alright, we have two bows, we have two slingshots. Alright. This and this, well, I need the pick still. Oh, well, we know the bolo doesn't work against the turtles. So, put the bow down there. So if they want to break, they can break. And now we're just going to go harvest stone in the dark. I think for that level five, if we find something level five around there, I hate the, I hate these rocks. Yeah, host has his own custom stuff. For, yep. That's, that's, see, that's, uh, you know, if you have a host, that's awesome, you know. Um, one of the things that I try to do with this particular channel, though, is I try to make it self-sufficient. That's that's kind of the deal that I've got with DigRat. I'm allowed to do this, guys, as, as long as it's not costing me a whole lot of money. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm thankful for for you guys. Again, when, when I say that what I do here wouldn't be possible without all you guys out, hey, Anthony Johnson, not much, man, not much. I am playing some Ark, taming some dinos. Oh, and I guess Turtle Club, now would be the cool time to tell you guys I'm also enjoying my vacation. There is going to be a 14-hour stream tomorrow night starting at 8 p.m. for the celebration of the one-year anniversary of this channel. And Mayhem Monday is going to go for three hours just like Skyfall Sunday does. We'll be playing until 11 o'clock, so way cool, guys. Uh, bet you some of you at home were thinking, oh, it's about to end, it's about to be over, but nope, surprise, guys, surprise. Hopefully you guys find that as awesome and as great as I do. Yep, 14-hour stream tomorrow, yeah, starting at 8 p.m., and that is to celebrate the actual channel, and we, we've got some plans with that. Um, we were waiting to spring that on you guys right at this moment. Hoping you guys would actually find that as cool as I do. That's one of the things with Digret going away that, uh, I, you know, one of the things I love my wife. Digret's great. Yeah, it's been a year, Giggity. As of tomorrow, it'll be a year since the first stream that we launched. It's one of the reasons why we've had our scavenger hunt going on in our channel, in our Discord this whole entire time. Yep. Oh, thanks, Hobbs. Thanks. So the stream on tomorrow... Uh, you playing on the center? Uh, no, playing on the island? Uh, playing on the island, uh, very minimal mod. One little mod, it's the death assistance mod. And I am not even high enough level yet to make the cementing paste for it even to matter. Um, the only difficulty setting that's adjusted from base difficulty is taming speed. We increased it a bit to make it a little bit more entertaining for those of you guys at home.
No one wants to sit here and watch me tame something for nine hours. I don't want to sit here and watch me tame something for nine hours. When Digrat's away, the mag will play. Yeah, uh, if if Digrat were not away, she was actually going to be here as well. But yeah, well, if you had a powerful enough dino, you could raid Beaver Nest. This is true, but I don't. And getting a powerful enough dino unfortunately precludes the requirements to you know have power. It's 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 a circle. It's a progression. It's a grind ration. All right, so that looks like a Dilo. Is that what that is? Yep, that's a Dilo. And did we manage to put away our axe? I bet you we did. No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Get us some hide off this guy. I think that will actually get the hide we need for a boat, which is good. What are you going to stream for 14-hour stream? Ah, that's a very good question. Um, crazy bus. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm going to stream all of the games. Um, more on that when we get closer and closer to it tomorrow, but we are going to do a number of streams in sequence. Uh, I will be active for 14 hours. There will be multiple breaks so I can stand up. You always got to be careful, careful of the wells. Yeah, the wells I'm not too worried about between um, the lagoon area that I'm at, between the Blue Arc and the, the southern forest that I'm at. Um, it's the megalodons that are pretty bad, but the wells, I, I, I don't usually run into them around here. Wells, I run into a lot more during the actu at the actual center island um, than here. Alright, so we got that. We got that. We got all of this. Oh, we still don't have all of the hide we need for our raft. Okay. We still need 75 hide total, which means we need 7 more. And then we need to start working on the wood. All right. And the other question is, is saddle. Hmm. I know we can make cementing paste. But it requires us to be in a mortar and pestle for it. Which requires us to be across the ocean again. Ugh. Which means the Noposaurus Rex, as well as the Edomagosauruses, will have to stay away to make sure that we can survive. Alrighty. We thought for a second, Turtle Club, that we were done for. That poison can get really, really bad. But we persevered. We persevered. All right, so... No bait. And he's got plenty of food on him. I got plenty of food on me. There are enough there. So next is the, the wood and the fiber. I forgot you can set them on fire. Yes, you can. You can set them on fire and those guys will burn really, really fast like a butane lighter. And I have no problem setting a Dilophosaurus on fire. Uh, once, I, once I usually get a, an actual flying mount in Argentavius... I will probably just pick those guys up like the angels on Dogma and just drop them off and just wherever I feel like. So, and raft takes 200 wood, doesn't it? 250 wood. All right. Okay.
we'll put the raw meat on here because he kind of works like a mini refrigerator. Um, we kind of like this little bitty area that we've sort of carved out for ourselves. It's it's very safe being the operative word, other than of course the the aforementioned the Edomagosaurus and the Nopasaurus Rex. Uh, the driftwood's pretty decent for what we're using it for. I love argues they're getting a huge upgrade. Oh, that's cool. Um, what do they need an upgrade for though? I mean, argues are pretty pretty awesome as they are. Um, RGs are great. I've, I've tamed many a Quetzal off of an RG or two. Just solo tame with the grappling hook and the parachute and uh, lots and lots of trank arrows. Lots and lots of trank arrows. and uh, Or uh, trank darts, if you can get up high enough for the trank darts. Okay, and... Sure, we'll go ahead and grab some rocks while we're at it. I don't think we have any Dialo spawns over here to worry about at the moment. I think we broke them pretty good, but we'll find out. Alright, that's, that's a Triceratops. Dialos by nature hate being nearby those things because they will kill them. Gore them like a, a prehistoric bull almost. Feel like that gif of Homer Simpson when I walk backwards, you know, the one where he just kind of slides back right into the bushes. Always kind of wondering if I just stepped into something I shouldn't have. And for these guys that are coming in right now and gals, my name is Mag Synchro. I am one of the streamers with Convertible Turtle Gaming. That's myself and my wife, Digrat. Is the Triceratops hostile? They are not hostile, but you'd be surprised what they'll become aggressive to if they accidentally get hit. Um, most things don't like getting hit. They don't like their eggs being picked up. Oh. Small dinos and humans in beak. Oh, saddle is a smithy like a beaver. Wow. Wow. Udivi, that uh, that's a pretty uh, pretty. Wow. Okay, so they basically become air beavers, with some pluses. But yeah, the Triceratops uh, Sally is not hostile. Any of the herbivores, in general, are not hostile, unless they sense a hostile action toward them. Um, how is my other flasks working? Okay, we're gonna have to fill those all up in a little bit. Wow, the smithy thing, man. I was kind of like, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And then the smithy thing just kind of, man, that, that's one of the coolest things about the beavers. It's one of the reasons why I try to try to tame a, a beaver, a, a dilo, or a dillo, rather, not a dilo. And um, what did we get way too much of wood, of course, because that's what we're in the middle of doing with. All right, and... We can put that thatch over here too. Crafting raft. Where is the raft? It's always like right in front of me. Fiber is going to be super easy to get once we get there. I know before we got quits as argues used to be the go-to, but when that update drops, oh yeah. I don't know though. I don't know. Uh, Quetzals. Uh... Quetzals are pretty good though, because I mean you still can do the flying fortress with those. And I, I rather do like that ability of theirs. Um, okay, let's make sure that my keyboard is in the right area for my, my fingers. All 
All right. Back to working on 250 wood, guys. We're trying to make a boat so we can get past the Noposaurus and the Edamagosaurus. And we are the Lumberjack Ninja at this point, guys. Better question though is what else do we have that's taken so much room in our inventory? Can't be that. Can't be all the berries either. Just the wood, okay. Being very, very mindful of the ecosystem here. All right, so what do I need to repair this with? F flint? Okay. That's easy enough to repair. We just grab a pickaxe, find the nearest thing that we want to get stone from, and swing the pickaxe at it and get the flint instead, because that's the way it always works. That's a running parasaur. Those should always be treated like bomb tech technicians. If you see one of them running, you need to try and keep up because they are usually running away from some sort of actual um, carnivore. And that's, uh, that's that's just the truth of it, guys. Circle of life in this game. Circle of life. My stone hatchet has been repaired. Here we go. Not bait. And that's just a joke from yesterday's stream. We actually was naming an animal bait for the sole hope that it was going to pull a megalodon away from us, and it, it did not. It didn't work. It was unfortunate. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, 48. Oh, not only did we get there, but we got there on his weight. Oh, okay. Poor dude. Okay, so... Hmm. Much, 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 much more important. Let's, uh, let's just put those right there on our... In case things go ahead, go ahead and go sour for us. All right, we need about 70, 80 more. Cool. He's got enough food to last him quite a while. Another 70 is going to be 30, so we really are going to have to start worrying about what else he's carrying on him. Hmm. Sword items by weight and the other direction. Well, we'll just have to carry some of the, the wood for us then. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem. And the thatch. We can carry the thatch. We can carry the hides too. I mean, man. All right. Here we go, guys. Getting a little bit more wood. 
What level are you anyways? You are level 15. Well, we'll let you live. For now. Evil laugh, pinky left, all that kind of good jazz. Well, I'm hot. We'll just get rid of the torch. Thirty wood. Man, some of these trees drop pretty good wood resource. Fifty-eight wood. Is that actually a total of seventy, or is that just the cumulative? That's the cumulative. Okay. Just about where I can't run. I bet something really nasty, horrible, and completely vicious is about to find me. 97 wood. All right. How fast can I run? We can't run. All right. Let's see here. Let's uh, eat all those. Eat all them. Eat all the cherries. And that gets our weight just below... Hey, Polsky, how's it going? Glad to see you. Playing some ARC on solo mode on PC. So no server, nothing like that, just on my own. It's definitely an interesting way to go about it. There are some tactics that I'm used to using um, that I can't use. And so, yeah, well, glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. It'll be really interesting to see how some of the teams have to be done solo. And if I can or cannot even get tech. Um, so that's that's a good question. And it's unmodded. The only thing that's changed on the difficulty is for pure entertainment value, the training or the taming has actually been sped up. To where taming doesn't happen anywhere near as slow. It does still take a little bit of time. Um, because part of the, you know, the the balance to taming, of course, is the fact that there's a danger to it. And that does mean, though, that probably won't be doing anything with actual mating dinosaurs on this particular stream. We also do try to keep this family friendly. The, the violence is as graphic as we want to go. Uh, back, had a late night cereal break. Way cool pizza ball. I actually had a cereal break this morning for breakfast. Um... Uh, Walking around like he owns the place. One of these days I really need to figure out the mechanics on the water flasks. Hmm. And guys, we're coming back up to Not Bay. He's one of these wonderful companions for us. He's just dutifully just sitting there. There's our campfire. Anything inside it? No. Oh, wood, of course. No, oh, Paul I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. So, we're going to go ahead and give you as much wood as you'll carry, which is a, uh-uh, okay, I got that, alright, so, let's grab some metal, drop you some more wood, uh-huh, how'd you go with the turtle? Ha, <laughs> um, we, uh, we called it a draw, his buddy come up and said hello, and I said goodbye, uh, really, really fast. It was probably the quickest greeting in a while. Now that it's daylight out again, we might do some battle with the turtle, but we don't know. Right now, we're we're almost we almost have enough for our actual raft. We just need um, a lot of fiber. 
100 fiber more than what we have. So do we have enough inventory space for that? We, I believe we do. So I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to go and just start gathering fiber like a crazy person. And the easiest way to continue being crazy about fiber is to split the stack. Actually, just drag all of the fiber there. Now we can't drag it on our bar. That's unfortunate. All right, so we're at 37. We just gotta we gotta get up to 125. I'm hot. It is raining in the middle of the tropics, and I'm hot. Why am I hot? And guys, Nightbot, the wonderful, awesome robotic mod is correct. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and let, let us know. Like the like the information, share the information, you know, post it to your friends on any kind of social media. Tell them that we're you're just chilling, relaxing, outside out of the school, playing some arc. Building a boat. We'll be on a boat shortly, hopefully. And once we do make it onto that boat, certain things will get to be greatly improved in our life. Like, we will no longer fear the Megasaurus and the Noposaurus Rex. But if you don't like what you see here, let us know that too. Uh, you know, we get dislikes on videos. We understand we get dislikes on videos. It doesn't hurt our feeling any. We, we want to know what the community thinks. We also have a Discord providing you adhere to the community rules. You're more than welcome to voice your opinions there as well. And that's also where we take recommendations for the next game. Uh, what color do I like? Um, are you meaning just kind of in general? Or do you mean like, what's my favorite color? Or are you asking uh, what color dinosaur do I like? Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Hey, pretty close. Pretty close there, pizza ball. No basketball on the Ark Island, though. No basketball on the Ark Island. And there's no Bel Air anywhere, either. Alright, so 118. We're almost there. Almost there. Did we farm all of the fiber on this little speck of dirt again? Hmm. Looks like we did. Which is disappointing. But it is what it is. Oh, favorite color dinosaur. Um, there's some really cool Argentavius patterns that I like. I mean, really awesome looking ones. And there's a... Uh... Hey! Jester Rock, this is Ark. Uh, Ark Survival Evolved, man. It's available on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and on Steam. It used to be early access. While it was early access, it was relatively inexpensive. All right, we'll be here, Polsky. No worries, man. Um, one of the really cool Argentavius that I found, um, maybe you can hear this, maybe you can't, actually looked like the old-school Falcon suit from the Avengers, so that was kind of awesome. Somewhere we're going to plot along right to where we're going. Here is some fibers. All we need is seven more fibers. My luck with my weight. Where's my weight at? Ah, I should be able to get seven more and not totally get totally wrecked. There we go. All right. So now we're going back to not bait, and we're going to actually use the materials on not bait to craft us a raft finally. And then we can start actually making us a really cool thing on the raft, which is a raft base. You can't jump. Do we have a do we have a level up? Nope. We are so close to a level up though. Look at that. That arrow is just about full. When we craft this raft, when it after it crafts in like the thirty seconds it takes to craft or something, 
I think we'll be good. I think we'll be way good to go. I forget. Can I pick up sleeping bags? Demolish pickup. Yep, I sure can. Cool. That's going to be really, really good later. All right. You, sir, you have all of these materials that I need to make one of these. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are still going to be important, not bait. We're going to bring you home. You are going to be able to eat all of the meat you want. Uh, speaking of that, we're going to do a little refresh on your foodstuffs. Craft inventory. Craft inventory. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Split stack. Split all. There we go. That should help kind of refresh the time on those. There's a bug that occasionally happens. All right, so now we got a raft. It only weighs, guys, it only weighs 85 pounds. All right, so we're going to up our weight now. We've leveled up again. Congrats to us, which means now we can learn some of these level 18 stuff, which we've been waiting for. All right, so what can we learn? We can learn a preserving bin, and that is very important. Let's change that back to just the scorched earth stuff, or the non-scorched earth stuff. A raptor saddle, if we had some raptors that we wanted to, to die to, we'd absolutely be grabbing that. All right, storage box, rope ladder, flare gun, compost bin. I don't think we quite need the compost bin. The wooden ladder, though, we absolutely want. All right, so you there. He who is not overloaded with all the stuff that we're carrying. We need to drop a few more pounds. Mm hmm. Well, now, um, uh, we can drop that just long enough to make our way over here. And that's on our bar as an actual raft, not as a build option, so way cool. All right, level up is available, way cool. We will absolutely. Do you think this game will ever be on the Switch? Uh, Dylan, uh, probably not. I hate to say that. I really do. Um, we just kind of leveled the 19 all of a sudden. That's the that's the power of the raft. The raft is pretty gnarly. Uh, Hyanodon meat pack. Nope. Wooden billboard, wooden table, wooden sign, wooden chairs. Uh, feeding trough. That's one of the ones we want. Bam. Okay. Well, Dylan, you know, the Switch is really awesome. The Switch is really awesome. It does a lot of really cool things. Um, this particular game, though, I... I don't know if it would quite actually meet all the Switch's... Nintendo's demands on the Switch. Alright, how's your weight doing, buddy? You are good on your weight. Awesome. How's my weight doing? I am also good on my weight. We are going to pick up these sleeping bags. We are going to tell this guy, come here, bait. All right, and time to drive. We're on a boat, Turtle Club. We're on a boat. 
Welcome back, Polsky. We managed to build our raft and get it completed. We're going to drive it all the way to our nice little shack that we've been... Alrighty, they need to do, yeah, um, a lot doesn't even begin to cover the number of optimizations they'd have to do on this. Yes, we have a raft now. We have one of the important things needed to be a real boy. Alright, you sir, land. Alrighty, woot, we have a raft, we have stuff, we have... Do you play Pokemon? Yeah! Ordering Ultra Moon today. Oh, that's cool. Ultra Moon. Um, I, I've played Moon and Sun. Uh, Digrat and I were actually playing that before the uh, before the actual channel started picking up. Fiber and wood. We need 120 wood. We need 40 fiber. And we have plenty of weight allowance. So here we go, here we go. That's gonna be that. And we're just gonna hack down our forest, guys. We're back, we're back where we wanna be. We're back where we need to be for what we're wanting to do. So it's, it's actually all good right now. You have animal in real life? No, I do not. I used to. Once upon a time, I have owned two guinea pigs. Um, well, since getting married to my wife, I have owned two guinea pigs, um, one rat, two hamsters, four cats. Um, and you know, animals are great. You excited? Oh yeah, I think you'll enjoy it, man. Uh, Pokemon has got a lot of depth, Dylan. It's especially if you get into the competitive side of it. There's there's a lot of scariness in it, as far as the way the competitive world of Pokemon goes. There's some crazy stuff you can come up with. There are some strategies that you can come across that'll make you scratch your head. Um, if you ever see a level one Rattata run away, not in the wild, but you know in competitive, there is a, a Rattata that can actually one shot just about anything in competitive. All right, let's see here. Let's let's give him his sleeping bags. All right. So crafting trough. We have almost all the wood. Now nah, we'll grab this metal. And we need some fibers and some more wood. So grab some fiber. Are we out on fiber? 63. We only needed 40 if I remember right. Yep. All right. So now we just need the wood. We just need eight more pieces of wood. And there we go. So now what we can build here is a food trough. And this thing is actually really impressive because what it allows you to do is just dump food in it. And the animals nearby will all feed off of it. Which, that, that's part of the impressiveness of it. The other part of the impressiveness, because you can dump all sorts of food in it, is it also doubles as food storage. And if you see the little bitty trough icon on people, like not bait over here, it means that they currently are eating from the food trough. So what I can do now is after I go on missions and come back, I can come here and just put food in the food trough. And you want to make sure that you put certain foods and not all of certain types of foods over here. So now we have some food for this guy. He will be happy. He will eat. And you can tell the food trough has food in it because, it, well, it, it looks like a slop trough, but it's not. 
it's not. All right, so we got a raft now. We've got our actual stuff here. Okay. The other thing we need to think about building is a compost bin. Do we actually know the compost bin, though? We do not. And it takes six ingrams. So the next level up we get will be the compost bin. Because we can't get that until 21. All right, so that's fine. That's fine. All right, the next thing we're going to do, though, is we are going to start up with farming stone now. And I know you guys are probably thinking, Mag, you farm stone, you farm wood, you farm everything else. Yeah, that's exactly it. You pretty much describe any kind of survival game in a nutshell. Uh, some of you may be picking up on the fact that this kind of plays a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Like the uh, game that we play all the time, Stardew Valley. It's kind of like Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley with dinos. That's a good way to call it. Uh, Dino Valley, <laughs> instead of Stardew. We we're really hoping to get some stone out of this instead of some metal and some flint, but it is what it is. Hoard all the things. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it, pizza ball. And, and like Stardew Valley, um, there's, you know, night and day. Unlike Stardew Valley, though, you don't just pass out unconscious when it gets dark. Um, you don't sleep, which is kind of odd. Dino Valley, yep, yep. Stardew Survival Evolved. Oh, it broke, it broke. Axe is better for straight up stone. Uh, that's good to know. I keep forgetting little nuances like that. Thank you for that, sir. Really appreciate that reminder. It's been a long, long time since I played Ark in a just sit down and just played it for the, the everything. And usually it takes about an hour uh, if you've been away from it to kind of get started back up. Yeah, much, much better using the axe. It's maim or miss. <laughs> oh, actually, okay. Sorry, ma'am. Did not did not mean that. All right. So now. We have quite a bit of stone, thanks to you to be there. I really appreciate that. All right, so crafting, um, structures, pipes, stone. All right, so we're going to craft one intake, and we're going to see where that gets us. Appreciate that. Okay, and so here we go. You guys are probably wondering, what is Mag doing? He is crazy as a loon. You're mostly correct. So there is the intake valve. So 
So next we need... Okay, that's a tap. That's a straight. That's a vertical. It's an inclined. Now, I want to say an incline can connect to this. I could be wrong, though. Yep. Alright, and that's vertical. We don't need. We do need this one. Probably another incline, and probably another one of those. All right, so now seven, nope, eight, eight, seven. Eight. All right, so it looks like we're going to be pretty good there. And so we need one, two, three, like four more of those. Whoops, I crafted a few more than I was going after. That's kind of what I was hoping for, though. Dead on like that. Bam. All right, get some wood here. And, you know, we can just make our little garden plot out here. Boy, we thought we had it dead on, but it's not quite. That's all right. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. All right, how much more do we need? Uh, we need some stone now, so time to take our axe to a stone, attach this to pipes, to a rain, yada, yada, yada. I always did the pipes was a bit... Yeah, it's a bit of an eyesore. Um, there's an actual mod that makes it look nicer, and by nicer, I mean it makes all the pipes invisible. <laughs> So it's not exactly what you call nicer, I guess, but just out of sight, out of mind. Alright, so now we're going to make a T. And one, two, three three taps all right so here is oh we didn't get enough for three taps what are we missing for our other tap stone all right back to the stone rock might as well break this down the rest of the way all right so eight Put that there, and then these, uh, what, ah, there's the third, okay. All right, so the important of this part, guys, is this is actually going to be watering things. Number one, two, we can drink the water and fill ourselves up. Three, we can put these water bags inside the tap, and they will automatically fill. So when we're about to leave the island, we just grab here, grab our water bags, and go. All right, so the next thing we want is our boxes. Actually, no, we want the planter garden well I forget what it is let's just go crafting all 
Wood maybe? Nope. Thatch. Cooking. Miscellaneous? Nope. So it should be under structures. Fridges we have. We have a preserving bin. We probably should bake that too. Um, stone and wood. So just chop down some more wood. Chop down some more rocks. Hey, Sneaking Knight, how are you doing? Add some rock that just can't be done anything with. So we'll run to the other side of our island and see what we have here. I guess we're just going to run and grab stuff. Here we go, here's a big ol' rock. Big ol' rock. And repair the axe that we just busted, because, yeah, that happened. That should be enough. So now we can craft a preserving bin. And this, again, is one of the cooler things, guys. We're finally kind of getting into the groove of where we really want to be in Ark. We got animals that feed themselves, plants that will eventually water themselves. Uh, no, sir, we are on PC. Let's just update the description. My apologies for not having that updated like it should have been. All right. We are playing on PC solo. All right, so there's all the fiber, there's all that stuff. All those things that we really could have probably used on the other island. All right. Uh, this is where we put the metal up. Put some of that brick away. And here is the spark powder we've been holding and building and hoarding and building. All right, so that's going to be good for this. So eight. We are going to put the refrigerator right about there. And the way this thing works is you put some spark powder in it as such. And then you see some smoke coming out of it. And the way the smoke works is it basically preserves everything. So you put meat in and the actual spoil timer goes down. Um, like see here, right here, spoil time 14 minutes. And now spoil time two hours and 26 minutes. So that's for that's for the, the spoiled meat. And we have some raw meat that we have over here. And so as we start building up our actual stockpile of meat and berries and those kind of things, we are going to be putting more berries back in the uh, in the thing back here. And speaking of certain berries that we really want to preserve, those go from 51 minutes to 5 minutes. As you can tell, it's, it's pretty important to be able to have one of these bins. And that's the next berry expires. They don't all expire at that time. So that's kind of really awesome as well. All right. So let's go to our Ingrams. We know what we're going for next has to be our garden plot, our small crop plant. And our compost bin. Those are the next two things that we really got to get built, guys. Cementing paste times five. Can we make cementing paste? Yes, we can. So let's go to our mortar and pestle. We have the keratin in here. So let's go. It takes four chitin and eight stone. So we're going to have to get some more chitin. Chitin comes from turtles. 
That's right, guys. There's going to be some more turtle on turtle violence. We got to go back to Turtle Island. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about being attacked by sharks as much. So we are kind of lucky in that way. Eventually this torch is going to break. And we know the torch is going to break. We expect this torch to break. So we'll just turn the torch off for now. I meant to ask, do you game and stream on the same PC? Uh, not always, Chadley. Oh, yeah. AUV, uh, I am aware of the graphic you can do for that. The graphical thing you can do. Basically, it's the old for more options. And you go options. And you can hide cell. And it works. Uh, we'll probably do that when we go to build like a mini base on this. Uh, that's kind of the next thing we'll be doing with it. All right. So we're actually going to go back to our pickaxe, though. Because the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting a lot of arrows so we can once again do battle with a turtle. Because they are what we get chitin from. And we need to start thinking about things like cementing paste and all that kind of jazz. And NUV, I'm, I'm pretty certain, but feel free to correct me. Um, as far as water b bottles go, the flasks go, the more I have of those, they don't do anything. They don't stack. They're supposed to stack, but I think there's a bug that they don't. But yeah, Chadley, it just depends upon the game that I'm streaming and what the actual requirements for it are. If they're processor heavy, if they're graphic heavy. Graphic heavy games like Arc, I, I tend to stream on the same PC. I've got an i5 processor to able to handle the stream and everything just fine. Um, if it's something that's heavily processor heavy, I'll actually use my, my Elgato. Never stacked, yeah. It's supposed to, but it's just never it's just been a bug they never fixed. Which is unfortunate. Coming real handy in Scorched Earth that they would. But yeah, I uh, use the Elgato. Um, I actually hook it up to my i7. And just kind of deal with it that way. And of course, you know, in that regard, Chatterley, it, it absolutely helps to have multi-computers like I have. I've got an i5, an i3, and an i7. The i3, uh, it doesn't get used as much, um, but if it's something that's beastly, that's multiplayer, I will, I will put things like Discord uh, on the i3, and I'll do voice chat with... Uh, I've, I've got a program called Synergy. It allows me to do keyboard sharing and mouse sharing. And allows me to actually push codes and commands to other monitors. And I'll actually make my voice bind go on to the i3. So that way I every little bit of processing power that goes to that particular, it goes to the game. And that's one thing I, I really do think is going to happen this week too, Turtle Club. With Dig right out of the, out of the home, I'm, I'm not going to have as many distractions as I usually have. Not that Dig Drive's a distraction, but when you're with the person you love, you usually want to spend all your time with them. And so I... Uh, what am I missing to repair this? Some wood? Just some wood. Okay. But I'll finally be able to get my, my streaming area repositioned to where I can actually take pictures of it, 
and or video of it so you guys can see exactly what I'm dealing with. I know a lot of you have asked about that. And the Q&A video, um, it's on the agenda for a while Dick Rat's gone too for me to really just knuckle down and focus on it. And it's just... It's one of those sore spots for me. Uh, I had so much problems with it. Oh, that, that was that was not terrifying at all, right? Uh, why do we need to fix that wood? That looks like some driftwood over there. Nope, that's not driftwood. That's the raft. Uh, AGV, not really sure what you're talking about there. How big is that guy? Level four? Hmm. Stone, which ain't gonna do us any good. Basically, to make it look nice and make it level with the rest of the raft. I'm still not sure entirely. Not, still not sure what you're talking about there. Yeah, I must have lost the thread of the conversation. My apologies. Sort of a huge step from driving part to the rest of it. Okay, AGV, I, I really do think that we've kind of lost each other a bit. But, uh,. That's all right. No worries. All right, so now we got our torch back. Inventory, crafting arrows. Craft 34 of them. That should be enough to take on a turtle or two. And speaking of turtles, what is the saddle take again? 10 cementing paste. So we're going to kill a lot of turtles. Get a lot of hide, get a lot of chitin, and just kind of circle life this thing. Should be okay. We still got plenty of food. We got a safe way to get back home. All we got to do now is wait for daylight, really. Of course, while waiting for daylight, one can pretty much just come around here and wait for a dialo to come up and then shoot the dialo until it dies. Should usually be one around here somewhere.
Rose Dodo. There's the hide we're gonna need. These things have some hit points. Not as many as much as those do for darn sure though. I think we'll just let it walk all the way out there that it wants to. We don't want to get too deep. And here comes the rain again. Fortunately, the rain doesn't put out the torches, which is a, a definitely a plus. It does cut down your visibility. It does also drown out a lot of the other sounds in the game. It's a really beautiful effect, though, when the lightning hits. I mean, I, I can't I can't say that anywhere near enough. The lightning lighting up everything in this world is just impressive. That's a level 5 Brontosaurus. If we could get to level 21, we could take him. But we're nowhere near. If we could find us an Allosaurus, we could tame one of them. Them are actually pretty easy to tame. All they take is banjo berries. Or not an Allosaurus. I'm thinking of something else. I think a Brachiosaur or... Ah, big old thing that's uh, basically a, a, just as big as a Brano. Not as mean, but just as big. There is a turtle. Just over there. I'm pretty sure we missed him. Let's go see if we can go say hi properly before our Noposaurus gets them. Your commentary is real professional. Well, thank you, Mr. McMahon. I appreciate that. I gotta say, that might be an Oklahoma thing. I grew up in Oklahoma City, which is nearby where old good old JR is. Hmm. To turn him into hide or to tame him? Maybe we'll just wait to tame this dude. He might he might be good for taming. And we'll give him a nice little fat stack of medjo berries after he gets tamed. Providing he doesn't get eaten or attacked or damaged or anything else. Should only take about five feeds, and we got plenty of Magio berries to feed them. Wait until he's hungry again. He'll be hungry soon enough. Don't worry, game. I know it. There he is. Have another berry on the house. It's not like we're going to put you as a an animal that does nothing but make our other animals happy. Actually, that's kind of what we're about to do, guys. We're going to grab this particular Lystrosaurus. And he's going to list off all the happy things of all the other animals we have. All right, one more berry and he will be ours. 
kind of like saying 10 easy payments but in this case it's five easy feeds and one thing I do like about this particular animal this particular dino is you don't have to be aggressive with it you don't have to get melee with it don't have to set it on fire don't have to feed other dinos to it lizard puppy yeah that's pretty much what they are and we'll call this Biffy because uh, if he was a girl he'd be called Buffy because they do a buff you come up here you can pet it and they do tricks just like a puppy does and they got that little bitty plus the arrow above them and that's actually an experience bonus That's a dodo. We'll set one of them on fire again. Come on, Biffy. Follow the torch. Flint, stone, and wood, so we're going to have that. Yeah, good boy. Exactly. Exactly. Just made me think of a tabletop RPG there, Ed UV. There's one called Pugmire. It's actually a pretty cool uh, tabletop if you like playing it. The storyline is that dogs, cats, and other household pets evolved into actual upright standing. Upright standing animals. Just like human beings. The thing is, though, is man disappeared. But they hold by the tenets of man. Like, uh, you know, you can be... Whoa, that's some... I thought that was flame, but it's actually dust clouds being kicked up. But every single one of the... The dogs in Pugmire want to be a good boy. If they're a bad boy, it means they're a criminal of some variety. Or a bad dog. Oh. Those things there. Speaking of bad boys and bad dogs. That killed me last time. They are definitely on the watch list. They are on notice. And they are. They will attack you. I don't know if we can do real good combat against them or not. And for those of you guys joining in on hour three of our actual Monday morning mayhem, my name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. That's a channel with myself and my wife, Digrat. Uh, another blue container that I can't loot. All right. I stream during the mornings. Uh, family friendly content we try to keep it PG here occasionally we do curse you know it's nothing actually that looks like yeah that's one of those things it stole my tinto berry it's eating my tinto berry it stole my ozzle berry it stole my narco berry seed And just a little bit. Eating my nar. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, that's time to run. That's time to run. One we can deal with, maybe. Two becomes a problem. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Let's eat some food. Hope for the best. Let's, uh. Oh, no. Medjo berry seed. Okay.
Well, Biffy's dead. Uh, I stole my stem berry. I don't think they're still in stacks of food. Yeah, they're still in stacks of food. Bummer. Come on, get going, get to going. Narco berry. All right, maybe maybe he'll pass out from eating too many narco berries. We can only hope. Sure we'd be good if we could loot this. Way far away from looting that. Looks like that thing's probably done with us. For the best. What level are you? You're level five. We can probably shoot you in the head and you'll die. Nope. We were hoping. Okay. Unfortunately, not that good of a shot. Bright side, I didn't miss and hit the brontosaurus, though. Hmm. Starting to get enough light out. We might be able to find one of these turtles. We might be able to try to knock it out. So, last time we tried to take on a turtle, we had 22 shots. We broke a slingshot. We did not knock him out. We tried. What level are you? Level 14. That's nah, not too bad. If we could find something just a little bit lower level. I feel a little bit better about it. Rare mushroom to tame it. Prime fish. All right, welcome back, Sally. Welcome back. I don't know if that's going to be... What is this? Doesn't look like a brontosaurus. Is this what we want it to be? That's a brano again. Alright. You're a dodo. That's not bad. It looks like our best bet for a turtle is going to be this level 14 one. Let's eat some meat. Now here's we go. Here's level seven. trick to these is we definitely don't want him to be fighting us in the water and we don't want him to be close enough to his buddies to where he can go calling for help
All right, is he unconscious? He's unconscious, guys. All right, give him some rare scraps of vittles that we got. And we really need to keep an eye on them. Whoa, the brontosaurus. Oh, yeah, they are huge. They are land before time big. They are absolutely huge. Get our pick out, which is broke. We can repair it though, that's good, that's good. Repair faster. Get some meat off of that. Excellent. Where are we at with the turtle? Turtles are a berry tame, all right. I thought they ate meat, but I'm glad they don't. Okay. This will make life go a lot faster. You level 25 turtle can stay right where you're at. Oh, it's a Pegomastix. Awesome. Of course, he still is like our medjo berries. Give you some more of berries. Don't think we're going to need the narcos. Awesome. And thank you, Josh, for that. It's been a long time since I've played a lot of this stuff, man. So some of the things that I used to know, I have forgotten. My brain is like an etch a sketch. Shake my head too many times, no. And unfortunately, all the information goes out. All right, so now the question becomes now killing this dude. It's level 23. I have a pretty good number of arrows. I'm dehydrated. You can fix that really fast. Since we're trying to kill him, this is actually a bad thing. Because he did get near enough to one of his brethren to make this pretty difficult for us. We're actually waiting for the pincushion run. That's going to be our best shot at killing this thing.
I don't even know what level his buddy is, but boy, his buddy's big. And that's the one thing about turtles that I love and I hate. Is these guys have all of the hit points. Now, I want to say that my stone axe is where I'm going to get the most keratin and the most hide off of this guy. And that's what I'm really after is the keratin and the hide for a saddle for my other turtle. Let's go check him out. See where you're at. You're just about to tame up. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, so. We were hoping. 150 turtles first tame. Oh, wow, sweet. Uh, yeah, slingshot knockouts are, are difficult. Um, 115, good gosh. That's like half the island worth of rocks. I take it you're playing on one of the official servers, Josh, probably? Oh, there's a moss chops up here. really hate being this far up at the level we are all right let's see here I'm tired I need to stop if I'm tired I can only imagine where my turtle is oh wow that thing's a little faster than I remember it being okay way cool dehydrated I get to the water fill up our water bottle all right, let's see here. Where are we at with repairing this? We need some fiber. Always with the fiber. Okay. Alright. Where we at there? We're there. We're, we're good there too. We'll craft some arrows because we might need them. Let's go ahead and up our. Doing good with food. Uh, water could probably use a tweak. Level 20 has leveled up, so now we are level 20. So now that we are fishing our level 20, we can we have 21 points. So we have a refinery that takes 21 points. And that's going to be our next thing that we're going to build is a forge. Um, flint, stone, hide, fiber, and stuff that we know we can actually get a hold of really easy. Uh, Hide-wise, we need 65. We have 127. I think we absolutely got the hide we need. This is going to be the hard part now. Getting Atuin on our actual raft. Come on. Who's a big turtle? You're a big turtle. Just a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Come on. On the middle of the raft. There we go. Good Atuin. And that should be the stay whistle. And now we're just going to go ahead home, guys. And since we have the hide we need, the next thing we're going to do is just build the forge. 
And with the forge, we can start smelting the metal we've had. With the metal, we can start building better items. And the ball keeps going down the hill, guys. This is one of the things that I really love about that. Yep, the turtle's getting a ride. It is so we can protect it from all of the horrible things that would eat it. Uh, namely, the the Edamagosaurus and the Noposaurus Rexes. I know they're called Megalodons, but that's my official name for them. Alright, and we can park this here. Get off of this. Come on, turtle. Come on over here, Atwin. Alright, and he is where he needs to be. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to once again check our bins. We got plenty of raw meat there. Dump another pass of raw meat. Some berries, because now we got a berry eater. And he's going to be very good at eating that stuff, that's for certain. Alright, so... Why are you, what are you holding? You got some berries on you? Did you level up any at all? Nope, you didn't. That's fine. We was hoping we could bring Biff over here. Alright, we're going to keep up in his weight. We can take his stuff off of him. I'm encumbered. Of course I'm encumbered. Why wouldn't I be encumbered? Alright, what do I have that's so heavy? I am actually not all that encumbered. You guys have not begun to know encumbrance. So on your Xbox, so that's cool, man. Um, I've not played it on Xbox. I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. I, I try to keep my opinion on consoles uh, to myself unless I own them. I do own an Xbox One uh, S now. Um, but the, the hard thing is, for me, I own a copy on PC. So why... Why would I purchase, you know what I mean? Um, it's a good game. It, it's not one of the best games of all time, but it is a good game. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I need to make another order and pestle. Actually, I need to take these berries out of here. Why am I crazy? All those berries and all that metal, all that wood. Okay. We still got plenty of spark power. Oh, look at that spark powder going. Put some of these berries in here to preserve them. All right. So we need fiber. We know we got the hide. And we need stone. All right, so... I mean, we have 173 height, guys. And we got the fiber as well. So what we need is just take an axe and get some stone. And where are we at on our weight? Okay, inventory. Get rid of all that. Um, storage, big storage. We need thatch. I think we got thatch and fiber in one of these. Oh, duh, Mag, don't open up the one you just opened. That's kind of silly. All right, and take that. Crafting, storage. Can I make just the one? Just the one, sad. That's okay, though. All right, we're going to access this inventory. We're going to take all this. We're going to demolish this box. We're going to go into our inventory. We're going to take the big storage box, drop it there, go to seven. Um, OK, that wasn't the big storage box. That was from the crafting menu. Now we have two big storage boxes. Even better. Seven. Okay. We have a small problem. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Access its inventory and 
take all the heavier stuff. How much weight do we have on us? We have oh, just about 100 too much. Those we can put in. Those we can put in. That we can put in. Awesome. And now we go up back to seven. I think that's awesome. Access inventory. Take all this inventory. Demolish this one. Access this, and everything that's built will go right in there. I know we've done that in the past, and it's not really helped, but I got a funny feeling like we might this time. Wait, so we still got a little bit of weight going on. Hey, JSK TV, man. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Um, let's put that in there for now, I guess. No, that doesn't really help. Um, 41 stone will definitely help. And 37 metal will definitely help. Alright, bam. I know there's a way I can do this. It's uh, H, isn't it? No. Is it N I'm thinking about? Alright, let's see here. Um, it's not that. Scroll in. H, nope, N, no. G, F, no. I don't know what it's obstructed by, but it wants to be obstructed. We will let it be obstructed. We'll just put that one there. All right, can we make another one of these storage? We can. That'll work. All right, and seven. There we go. Door still works. Awesome. That's still going. Let's grab our wonderful meat. Take the fire out. It's going to go in our preserving bin. Okay. Hmm. All right, so raw materials of all various sundry sizes actually take the keratin out and we're going to actually rename this thing to raw mats and that will let me know there's raw mats I'll probably be really bad about this, but, you know, best laid plans. All right. Rename. Built stuff. Right? Because that's just the best way to go about that. We need one of those pickaxes back because we're using it. I can go there. Awesome. Grab that, grab that. And what's in this box? Anything? More tools. All 
And we're ending in about 25 minutes, guys. And for those of you that are just joining, my name is Mag Synchro. I'm with Convertible Turtle Gaming. My wife and I both stream on this channel. Her name is Dig Rat. Uh, that's in part because she's helping when she's playing. And that's also part because she just liked the whole entire story of Dig Rat on Twitch Plays Pokemon. I play family-friendly programming during the morning, so you can do exclamation schedule to get when that happens. And on the weekend of Sunday, usually, uh, she streams adult programming in the form of Skyrim. Uh, here lately, though, she is not going to be streaming for last yesterday and next Sunday, uh, mainly due to the fact that she is out of town. Uh, cementing paste. Here we are. Stone and chitin. So we'll put some stone in, and we'll put some chitin in. And we will make two cement paste. It's such a horrible, horrible thing. Bit it doesn't weigh anything, so well actually it's 0 0.01 and 0 0.02, so it it virtually weighs nothing. All right, so what does the forge take? All right, so what does the forge take versus what do we have? All right, we need fiber, flint, hide, and stone. So we need to get a lot of stone, and it only takes 20 wood. So that's good. So we need eight wood. We need... like 70 stone, give or take. All right. So eight wood, 70 stone, and then we can make us a forge. And what do we need to repair this with? Flint, thatch, and wood. So we need to stop opening the wrong box. We knew that was gonna happen. All right, we need to transfer one. All right, and it takes one flint. So we're gonna transfer one. And we're going to take five thatch, which we're just going to take all the thatch. All right, so you guys are still doing good on food. Awesome. Let's go break us a rock. And before long, guys, we're going to have some pretty good advancements in this game. Oh, there went our... Oh, our axe. But we knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. That did not take but one or two hits. All right. And one of the cool things, guys, in this game is... You know, I keep forgetting, as you guys have seen this whole entire time, what does what, um, what various items um, get better crafting material yield. Is it the axe? Is it the, is it the, you know, pickaxe? Is it the, is it the, uh, well, eventually there'll be different animals that do things. And that's, that's mostly on me. Um, I gotta be honest, I just don't think it through. Because it makes sense, right? A pickaxe is not going to get huge sheets of rock, right? A pickaxe is going to get huge, um, you know, little bit tiny, like, chinks and chunks and stuff. My, meanwhile, uh, an axe is going to shear the stone right off of it. Um, so we have plenty of room, I think, for some more stone. It's slowing us down a bit, but it really ain't going to break our stride yet. We just need about 30 more stone. Which is only going to be about 15 on the weight. So we should not be really over encumbered by the time we get the stone we need. Now, I didn't say we weren't going to be spacewalking, but see, we're at 142.8, so we can still make it to our home. And we got 72, so we actually got all the rock we need. 
So now we can go rock out on this forge and start smelting some stuff. Um, which is going to be really, really good. And I'm just trying to trying to get greedy. That definitely put us over. All right, so let's put the stack by half. Let's put the stack by half, and then split the stack by half, and then we'll drop that stack. And we'll split that stack by half. And we'll drop that stack. And we still go slower than a turtle upwind. So, um, drop that, split half, and drop that. We are hoping for a little bit better. It is what it is. What we should have done, had we really thought about it, is we should have brought Atuin with us. Because we used we could have used Atuin all over this island as a pack animal. And he could have carried a lot of our stuff for us. Uh, eventuality will be, of course, to do that. But we need a saddle. And for that, we need eight more cement paste. So... So that'll be something on the next arc stream, guys, when, whenever that is. Uh, we kind of wound up stumbled across this. Um, it's a fun game. It's definitely one that I enjoy playing more than an hour. Um, so we want to do it usually on days that we're going to be able to play three hours. So maybe um, maybe our Monday morning 3 a.m. stream is going to become our permanent arc stream. Because we... We're still kind of trying to figure some stuff out, but you know that's something that you guys can let me know. Hey, Cherry, you can absolutely let me know in the in the comments, uh, in our Discord, anything along those lines. And I, I know some of our Australian fans definitely do like Ark, uh, so there is a, a plus there. Um, and we're, again, we're trying to get our feet with that particular time frame. I think in the future we may not be doing the Saturday morning stream. It just may be a Sunday morning and a Monday morning. But I don't know. I don't know. The uh, the streaming from 8 to midnight and then from 3 to, yeah, Al Chadley, 3 a.m., man. But I'm up. I'm up. You know, this is this is up late for me. I mean, you, you guys got to remember that if you, basically, if you add 20 hours to the clock, it's, that's about where I'm at right now. I usually go to bed at 9. If most people go to bed at 10, then 11 o'clock for me is like midnight. But yeah, 3 a.m., I, I wish, you know, but it's it's the best solution that we've been able to come up with to the conundrum of, with my work schedule being as bad as it is, what can we do to make it better? Um, let's see here, planter, isn't that what that is? Did I, did I once again not get the, the flower bed? I bet I didn't. I bet I didn't because it was one of those things that was like, ooh, a piece of candy. Yeah, small crop plot. Yeah. We need nine more Ingram points to get that. We might wind up getting, we have to get that to get the large crop plot. So it's like, ugh. And here we are, guys. We are bay watching it. Do, 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 I mean, look at that, guys. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now we just gotta get to the raw material bin, which is not the built stuff bin. Fiber, wood, crafting, forge, make a forge. And automatically, all that weight's gone. Look at that, guys. We turned like 30 pounds into four. Ain't that amazing? Ain't that amazing? 
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this forge where we can. Need to upload something to DeviantArt, but the school Wi-Fi blocks it. That is unfortunate. But DeviantArt, unfortunately, does have some artistic choices that most schools don't agree with. They allow for artistic choices, I guess is the better way to say it. All right, put our metal in there. And now we can light the fire. And technically, we can throw a thatch in there, too. And it works as a source of fire as well. Um, <laughs> hence the name Deviant Art. Uh, yeah, they, I don't know if that's actually where they got that from or not. All right, so... Our stamina is going to go up again. We leveled up again, guys. So that's definitely a plus. We got 18 Engram points. We're at level 21, which means tranquilizing arrow this is it guys this is where we've been waiting for this is a game changer there's going to be so many things that we can actually knock out unconscious with this now so we um we're going to be building trank arrows yeah yeah probably not chadley but you never know you never know what's behind the hearts of men um sometimes they have everything in mind and sometimes they have not the best things in mind. Alrighty, so now we can start getting some real good stuff. I mean some real good stuff. Well, it's just a bunch of weirdos who want to make an art community. Yeah, that's that's what it was to begin with. That's absolutely what it was to begin with. Oh, we gotta wait for the smithy. We want a smithy next, so. Alright, so we can Craft arrow, trank arrow. We need narcotics. Fortunately, Turtle Club, what have we been making all in the corner over here this whole entire time? Narcotics. All right, so. Craft all 21 of those. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my complaints with Twitch. Cherry is generally the only people that the communities like that really work well for are the community people that were kind of their first kind of did it all. All right, so what do we need to repair this? Some wood. Well, I think in our tiki torch or maybe in our cooking fire, we have some wood. All right, we can't put charcoal in there though, so we gotta pull this charcoal out. All right, repair, we still need more wood. All right, do we have anything in the Tiki Torch? We have, oh my goodness, Turtle Club, look at that. We have as a veritable nightlight over there. Repair this. All right, put that there. We no longer really need that to make charcoal, so that's a, a plus. This thing right here will billows out some charcoal for us. All right, we'll see you later, Cherry. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. And guys, uh, if you ever want to catch out some, some really cool speed art, some Undertale play, a few other things along those lines, Cherry is definitely your go-to for that. She does some pretty cool stuff. All right, so we still have 108 on that, guys. That's just all sorts of awesome. That's, that's the preserve bin. I was like, wait a second. Something about that don't look right. All right, so that's going to spoil. We want to pull it out, put it in the preserve bin. That's where it needs to stay for now. And guys, we are kind of winding down. It's about to be dark out in the game. Um, we... At this point, we got a lot of gathering to do. I mean, that's really what it all boils down to. Um, put a Medjoberry in there. So before it goes dark, we're just going to go ahead and run around and grab some berries. 
that's probably going to be what we do for the next eight minutes of the stream, guys. I uh, understand that if you guys don't want to stick around for that, totally get that. But that's where we're going. We promised to go for three hours on the stream today because we don't have any responsibilities at all. And that's what we aim to do. playing on a server where other people can loot your camp, right? I am not actually Chadley. I'm playing solo on my own PC at the moment. I uh, It's an option to play on a server where people can loot your camp. I I rather would not come into a, a game that I've spent, in this case, over the last two days, six hours on, and just watch it all just go poof. Um, we have talked about making a, a private server that can be shared by many members of the Turtle Club. Um maybe a, a private server for certain individuals and it's been a thought we, we looked into the the hosting fees for it um, it looks like such an endeavor would be like 20 bucks a month for 30 people and that's to have it on high priority i place yet wasn't sure if it's was online only it is not um, it actually can be played local LAN, uh, even chadley but you do have to have uh, multiple copies of it now, on console, I do not know if the local LAN option still exists. And I do know that it's not cross-server capable. You, know, you can't play PC with Xbox or PC with PS4. And you certainly can't play PS4 with Xbox. And that's just outright. You know, that's just kind of the... That's the fight going on right now in the, in the gaming world, you know. Unite the gamers, yeah. You know, it's not the gamers. It's not the gamers. It's actually the... You know, we all want to play together. I think I think that's what you're saying. And I agree. Um, but the thing is, is... I think there are some consoles that... If they didn't have version exclusives and they weren't, you know, console locked... I don't think, for instance, my, my Xbox One S... As good as it is, as as great as the options are available for it, and I, I gotta admit the the stream pass is one or the game pass has won me over infinitely more than the actual online live services. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hit or miss. Cross platform is, but um, the few games that I do have that are cross platform, I'm 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 very happy for them. Uh, Fortnite Save the World is. I don't think that I would be playing it with Digrat if it weren't cross-platform. Just gathering up all the berries we can grab, guys. And this is just so we can... Pretty much when we start the next stream, we're going to dump all of the berries into the mortar and pestles. Yeah, a few people... Yeah, yeah. PS4 is... The fact that it's cross-platform is, is good. I mean, it's really good for the community, too. It, it helps to have people that you can continually play with that you know that they know what they're doing. And that, that really does help. It really does help. That's one of the reasons why me alienated one and Digrat like playing together all the time also. We have our we have our thing. I build the base, alienated one goes get some materials, 
He kills things that are on his way, and Digrat goes around the outskirts of the, of the zone, killing everything on her way. Uh, we got it down to a pretty good 12-minute science. All of these, all of these arc lights that I can't get anything out of. And see if we were playing this online. Um, two things. I don't think this island is popular. There, there are two islands that released uh, aberration, and um, well, that was some bad graphics for a second. Aberration in Ragnarok. Ragnarok's supposed to be really fun, but it's really challenging. They really upped the difficulty. They cranked it up to 11. Um, I, I'm kind of laid back. I kind of like just doing the zen of it. I, you know, not for me. I have the Ragnarok map. I've played on it a little bit. It's okay. Um, but I really like the fact that this map is really well balanced. And it has all the biomes you need in it. Now what I do dislike about the, the Ragnarok map also is the fact that they basically gave everything that was on Scorched Earth in Ragnarok for free. So it kind of really hurt the player base to see an expansion that people were paying, I think, 15 bucks for it was the, the high end. And just saying, oh, by the way, haha, here's a free expansion. It's the largest map ever in the world, and we're giving it away for free for everybody who owns a copy of the game. That's, that's just a way to really spit in their face. And it's just unfortunate. Oh, we are slowly dying. We need to... Hey, Crimson Shadows. Not much, man. There's our base. Um, the maps aren't really handmade, um, as opposed to anything in particular. Alright, now we're going to live. Oh, you mean, are they static? Yes, they are not auto-generated. Um, yeah. They, there's actually a, an Epic Games, the same people that, you know, make all the assets for Fortnite and PUBG. They're the ones who uh, made Unreal Engine, which is what this is based off of. A matter of fact, I was going to do a map edit, and that's how I even found out about Fortnite in the first place. It's because I went to Epic Games to download the, the ARC uh, map thing, and lo and behold, there was this really, really beautiful game. Uh, let's see here. No, no, no. We can kibosh that because it takes two metal to turn into one thing there. That puts us in the cold again, though. But it is what it is. Okay. Actually, fast travel, lay on bed. I thought I could sleep on it, but I guess I can just lay on it. It's a neat little RP thing, but nothing else. Well, guys, it is 11 o'clock. Uh, Crimson Shadow, thanks for coming in, man. Uh, we are going to call it quits. I'm going to go to bed. I don't know what today brings, but, you know, there's a good possibility in that Turtle Club that there may be a bonus stream. You never know. While the rat is away, Mag will play, uh, as we said earlier. So this turned out to be a pretty cool day. Um... And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And don't forget, those that are playing the scavenger hunt game, there will be another scavenger hunt question. They are getting ridiculously hard. Um, uh, guess it is, Ed v. Um that, That's another reason why I don't play with mods, because when they do updates to code like that, it can do really weird stuff. Um, and that's just a personal preference. You know, there's nothing wrong with mods. Uh, actually, you know, before we log off, the last thing we want to do, let's go add to in. Let's increase your weight because you are awesome. Not bait. Let's go ahead and, nope, you don't need to level up yet. All right. Away we go. But yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and close her down. And when we come back, we will see what we can do on ARC. I do not know when the next ARC stream is. 
Uh, again, we're presuming that we might be doing this now here on at 3 a.m. on Monday Eastern Standard Time. But guys, have a... Uh, yeah, I've played a little bit, Chadley. Uh, not Battle Royale, but Save the World. And it's actually, it's still, it's still a joy. It's still a joy. But yeah, um, Fortnite, yeah, Battle Royale, yeah, lots of bugs in that. And uh, I stay away from it. I'm not a competitive guy. But guys, have a good morning, have a good evening, have a good night, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Whatever you guys do, whatever you guys have, just make sure it's good. This is Max Synchro saying, have a good one.